So uh, a candidate running for the governor of Virginia has declared that if elected, he will outright ban critical race theory. Take a look at this. We have some abhorrent chapters in our history. We have to teach them. But friends, Dr. Martin Luther King called us all to be better than we are. He called us to judge one another based on the content of our character and not the color of our skin. And critical race theory is a political agenda that is absolutely in our schools. And it teaches everyone to view everything through a lens of race and then pits our children against one another. So friends, on day one, we will teach history, but I will ban critical race theory. Okay, that was amazing. So just a quick disclaimer, in this video, I'm not gonna really divulge into what critical race theory is. I'm not gonna tell you that you should subscribe to it or you know reject it. That's not my purpose here, okay? But it, what's going on in American politics today? Like, seriously, what's going on in American politics where you're running for office and you're, one of your main issues, if not your main issue, now I don't know what this guy um, supports, he's most likely a Republican, so the shit that he supports is most likely a bunch of bullshit, but it, it, I mean, it, so this is at your forefront of issues, banning critical race theory. And so this has been an ongoing debate for a while. I've mostly stayed away from it for obvious reasons. I think it's kind of dumb, but let's get into it, shall we? So critical race theory, I'll give you a broad definition of it. Critical race theory is an academic concept that is more than 40 years old. The core idea is that race is a social construct and that racism is not merely the product of individual bias or prejudice, but also something embedded in legal systems and policies. Now, it goes a little bit uh, in greater detail than that, but that's the broad scope of what it is and what it means. Now, what's been happening over these past couple months, especially, is you have these Republican politicians in their respective states gathering together to demonize this concept and ban it. And what's funny is that I, I, I genuinely don't understand why. Not because I agree with it and I think it should be taught, but because where is it being taught? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely confused and perplexed. I don't understand. If you like this stuff isn't being taught anywhere and that's just facts. It's not being taught in any grade school. You can't find anywhere where it's being taught. This is like a college level course. And even in colleges, I have no idea where it's being taught. What is what is this faux outrage over this concept that it's somehow brainwashing our children when the children didn't even know what it was till they started talking about it and started making moves to ban it. Like all over the, in, in certain uh, states across the country, you'll see uh, politicians that are against this bring up types of legislation that's like, so they'll, what they'll do is they, they won't really uh, say they're banning critical race theory. They'll say, you know, you, they'll target schools and, and they'll say you can't teach divisive concepts. What? Do you know what this is? This is an indoctrination of the young. Yeah, that's what it is. They want to teach because, see, what they're what they're afraid of is that they're afraid that if things like this are taught, then people will come to certain conclusions that, hmm, maybe the history of this country isn't so bright like they would want us to believe. Maybe certain things did happen and maybe those things are really bad. They don't want the people to know about that. They want you to think that America is this utopia and that it's, it's the best and that everything here is great and nothing has ever gone wrong and nothing will ever go wrong. That's what they want you to believe. And that's incorrect. Did, did good things happen in this country? Yes. Did bad things happen in this country? Yes. Let's teach all of it. And let's let the people that we're teaching come to the conclusion based upon what they've heard and what arguments were the most convincing. Like, what are we doing here? What are we doing? I feel like that's this is stepping over the boundaries of what you should be able to do. I mean, it's absolutely insane. I, I genuinely don't understand. And the fact that it's not being taught in any grade schools and they're pretending like children everywhere are being brainwashed by this. I mean, it makes no sense. And also, 
if this is at your forefront of issues and you want to be a politician, just stop. Just stop. So damn jobs, damn health care, damn the endless wars, critical race theory, man. That's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. I remember my freshman year of college, I took a history course. And one of the things that we learned about that I still remember today was women's suffrage. And we went into great t detail about it. That'd be like me sitting in the back of the classroom going, oh, doc, this women's suffrage stuff, it, it stuff's divisive. We can't teach it. See how absurd that sounds? Absolutely ridiculous. But here we go, man. American politics at its finest.